Hello and welcome, my name's Chris and this is Raid Shadow Legends with a playthrough of the game. Um, so I'll just carry on from the last video. Last video we talked a bit about um, some of the features that we unlocked at this point. This is all the features in our Bastion and just kind of had a quick uh, rundown of these. Um, and we were talking about improving our champions. Um, this time about leveling those champions up, ranking them up in stars. Um, <clears throat> so we kind of went through the campaign version of it, how you would um, go through the campaign version and level up champions that way. Uh, a level up food more specifically to empower our champions to be able to rank them up. Uh, this time we're gonna go over the summoning factor um, in order to get food. And we're gonna do that through the portal. So as you can see, there's an indicator on here which says there are four ancient shards. So we're going to be summoning them right now. Hopefully getting lucky and getting a new champion to use. Or just having some food to be able to uh, upgrade our current champions. Um, so these are the four types of shards at the side. Uh, Mysteria, Mystery, Ancient, Void and Sacred. Uh, void shards are highly sought after because you can only get void champions from them which don't have any... They don't have any positive uh, positives against other affinities and they don't have any negative effects against other affinities as well. So these are neutral champions. Um, sacred shards are the big, big bad boys. These give you a high percent chance of getting a legendary and you're always going to get an epic or above from them. Um, one thing to mention about this, especially if you're a free to play player, um, on how you use your shards. Because um, Polarian put on events with summoning shards. Um, so it's usually like three times a month they will have um, these summoning events. So one of these events will be for ancient shards, where they will double the chances of getting a legendary champion. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's legendary and epic, or whether it's just legendary. Uh, but it's uh, it doubles your chance, uh, so this will become one percent chance of getting a legendary up from zero point five. Uh, same with void, this event's on for two times void chance. It will be a one percent chance of getting a legendary void champion, and sacred shards. There's no other option there, so you'll be getting a twelve percent chance of getting a legendary champion. Uh, now, if you are a free to play player, um, it is highly recommended to save your shards for these events, especially sacred shards. Like as soon as you get them, it can be like really tempting to get them, uh, like to use them straight away. Um, but trust me, if you are getting sacred shards, hold on to them for these summoning events because <clears throat> you know, a 6% chance up to a 12% chance is massive. Um, with the Ancient and Voids, it kind of seems like, you know, up to you. Um, personally, I'll probably hold on to the Void Shards until the event. But Ancient Shards, yeah, go crazy, do what you want. It's always worth saving for these events for the for the increased chance. So I'm pretty sure it might increase Epic chances as well. Um, but if you have no other champions, then using them when you get them might be a better idea. Because it gives it gives it could give you more options for different champions to work on to start off with. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We've got these four ancient shards, and we are going to summon some champions. Uh, so let's get this started. Let's get into it. Okay, yeah, so we've got a bombardier. Um, first thing you can do when you get these uh, champions, you're not sure how good they are. Click on the reviews, it might give you some uh, advice, it might give you some hint as to how good they are. Uh, this guy hasn't been rated highly at all, these are very poor ratings, um, so it's probably generally not going to be that useful. Um, I'll go for a few of the skills, so his, uh, his A1 attacks one enemy, has a 5% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs for one turn. Is A2 attacks one enemy, places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns if this attack is critical. A3 attacks one enemy three times each, it has a 50% 50 chance of placing a 2.5% poison debuff for two turns. 
Um, and his, he's got an aura skill as well, which increases ally crit rate in battles by 12%. Um, yeah, it's so not that great. But saying that, if you don't have any champions for clan boss, he may be an okay stand off champion. He does have poisons on his A3. He also has a debuff extender on his A1, if you get him ascended to three stars. But that is only a 5% chance. It goes up um, to 15%, but that's still very low. Probably not worth, definitely not worth putting any resources into anyway. Um, yeah, so let's move on. There are uncommon champions that do a much better job in clan boss. Um, and then we have this guy, Perforator. Again, very low stats. Um, um, yeah, still very weak. Attacks one enemy has a 30% chance to place a 5% poison. Attacks one enemy ignores 50% of target's defense. Grants an extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. And he's got a passive ability. Has a 35% chance to place in a fear debuff on the target for one turn. When this champion inflicts a critical hit. So not useful to me. We okay, carry on. Slayer. He has um, slightly higher ratings than most of them. He's got an accuracy set, set in there as well, so he's going to have some debuffs. Uh, okay, so A1 attacks one enemy, has a 30% chance to place a 25% decrease attack uh, debuff for two turns. It's got an addition, it's a one, one attack A1 with a debuff to increase uh, enemies' attack. Okay, and his A2 attacks all enemies. And his A3 attacks one enemy, places a 5% poison debuff for two turns. Has a 75% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Okay, so that stun chance is pretty high. Um, and the 5% poison applies. So that goes up to 100% stun as well. Okay, so, and a 4 turn cooldown, so that's pretty cool. Poison plus stun, decrease attack, and then an AoE attack. So if you don't have any champions to fill this role, um, this is a force a DPS champion. Pretty not, uh, sort of okay utility, good for start off campaign farming, I guess. And witness, let's have a look at hers. She's got fairly, oh, yeah, fairly average um, views. The recommended speed and attack. She is a support champion, so let's see what skill she's got. A1, uh, attacks one enemy, 15% chance to place an extra hit. Um, A2, attacks one enemy, places a 30% increased defense buff on the ally with the lowest HP for three turns. And her uh, A3, places block debuffs buff on all allies for one turn. Places a shield buff equal to 30% of this champion's max HP on all allies for two turns. Um, that goes down to a four turn cooldown. That was a really good uh, defensive ability, especially if you stack her uh, HP. Uh, it doesn't get any higher than that though, so that's just 30% of her HP on all allies, which is still okay. But they, you can get much better shield champions than that. Uh, she's also got increased defense on an ally with the lowest HP, which is another you know, buff and the block debuffs as well is pretty good. And her aura is increased ally resistant faction groups by 30%. So she's probably worth keeping hold up, keeping a hold of. Right, so that is our champions. We also do have a chance to get a rare champion from Mystery Shout, so we'll just, just summon 10 of these, see if we get lucky. We didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's also another way to get food because we have 
Grabbing this out, definitely are not going to be useful, but on the plus side, we can upgrade rank of Kale. Uh, so we're going to keep hold of Witness and Slayer and get rid of these, these three here. I have put XP into this one, but we're just going to use him. Um, so this is a much quicker way of doing it, but just be careful with these champions because some of them can be useful later on or in other areas. Um, but just if you want a quick guide, check their user ratings. Uh, if they're kind of like, you know, below four in any area, then they're generally used as food. Let's use these. Sacrifice. Okay, and that's turned Kale into a full star champion. Brilliant. That's going to boost our uh, progression quite a lot. Can we get another one in there? I, I kind of don't feel like I want to sacrifice these two. Um, we'll hold off on that for now. I think for this one we will work on just getting some, grinding up some three stars as we uh, run through the levels. So, before we can progress with our campaign, we've upgraded some some champions. We need to level them back up again. Uh, so again, you can do this in the tavern fairly quickly by just uh, spending some XP brews on them. But again, this thing, this is entirely up to you. You can either do that. I think I might just place, uh, probably take three out on Kale. Get him up to level 18. Uh, and increase his stats that way. He's getting powered up pretty quickly. Um, but normally I just save these for <clears throat> for my food when I'm leveling. So I'll literally take this guy. Throw some of those in there. And max him out to a level uh, to a two star, which kind of saves me from taking these level ones into dungeons and went spending loads of energy just to upgrade in those. Uh, but that's the way I do it anyway. That's my personal preference. Just using brews on the level one champions to turn them into level twos, and then farming the twos and threes and fours. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, let's go do it for this video. This was just one. It was just a quick one, all about summoning. Uh, to get food for your champions uh, from the portal and what's left to do with this is just like I said go back into campaign and level up these champions and again if you level up champions they're going to be weaker so they're not going to be able to do the same level of stuff just yet so if you're missing any item pieces now is a good time to go back to these stages and start farming out those specific pieces that you want for your champion uh, for any upgrades that you need um, okay, so I'm gonna level these up off um, off camera, kind of get to a spot where we can progress a bit more, and then you know come back into a next another video once we get to a point where we're stopped at again. Uh, so if any of this was helpful to you, then please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, if you want me to cover any of these topics in more detail, don't forget to just leave a comment down below, and you know I'll. When I find time, I'll be able to make a video explaining things a bit better. Um, so hopefully see you guys again. Uh, take care, guys. Bye.